What's going on guys, T-Mark here and today we are going to be taking a look at the new Nuketown in Black Ops 3. The third iteration of this map and man oh man is this third one by far the best. Check this out right here, how insane is this map. I mean it's just, it, it's crazy everything that they've done. It's still the same old Nuketown but it's so vibrant, it's so colorful, it's just like this is one of the best looking maps in Call of Duty history, in my opinion. Like, I just, all the colors inside the map, outside the map, the buildings, the trees, the ground, all the neon and stuff, I, just, I think it looks absolutely amazing. And I can't wait to actually play on it myself. So, this gameplay here is from the Nuketown trailer that came out yesterday from the COD, uh, you know, Black Ops 3 Fridays, kind of like live stream series they've been doing. I wanted to get a video up right away, but uh, unfortunately, I was on a flight back from New York City, so I wasn't able to. But, so we're gonna go through, the trailer's almost played all the way through right here, and then I'm gonna point out some of the stuff you guys may have missed, because there's a lot to see about this map. We can see quite a few changes about the map, uh, and uh, in different ways that it's gonna be played. We see a lot of character customization in this trailer, so I'm gonna slow that down for you guys, and overall we're gonna be able to get a fantastic look at Nuketown. Now right here at the end, the first thing I wanna point out is you guys gonna see that the same old nuke explosion happens at the end of the map. Check this out. Boom! How cool is that? Everything just kind of goes crazy. And uh, man, that's just, that's a Nuketown original right there. So anyway, the things I wanted to, uh, to warn out to you guys. Now, first of all, let's take a look at this map here. You guys can see, like I said, it's one of the most colorful maps in Call of Duty history. And you guys can see a lot of it is built around wall running. Even the bus and, and like the almost, is that a train looking thing in the center of the map? Those all have flat edges and stuff like that to be able to wall run. Now talking about the bus and the train, if you look at the things that are floating up into the air, originally when we saw like the Nuketown preview from the GameStop commercial, we thought those were going to be like free runnable. We thought you we were going to be able to, you know, kind of bounce around them. Obviously you aren't. Obviously this is 110% been changed and now it's just kind of like glitches in the matrix that are shooting up into the air. I'm not really sure what they're meant to be. Now, I'm guessing that these things are there so that you can't climb up on top of the bus and the train. So obviously in the previous Call of Duties, we didn't have the, you know, kind of like thrust jump and stuff like that. So we had no way to get up there. But if you think about it, if you're up on top of that bus and on top of that train, that's really going to break the way the map works. Like those two things kind of cut off the map from side to side. So if you can jump up there and shoot down at the other side, that's going to, like, Nuketown's already crazy enough, but that would make it even crazier. So I'm assuming that that's either a death zone or just a zone that you straight up can't get up into. It's just kind of like an invisible wall. That's my guess. I don't know the actual truth behind that. But uh, that's just, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Now, I'm uh, moving on to the next thing. Right here, this is the new Nuketown sign. This isn't really too significant. I just want to show it to you guys. So before, we always had Nuketown with a population of double zero. Now the population is 12 because it's a six on six map, which uh, I thought was kind of a neat little thing. Now, next up, this clip right here. It doesn't seem like much, but this to me is confirming that the, like, shooting the mannequin's heads off in a certain amount of time Easter egg type thing is back. Like, there's going to be some sort of Easter egg involving the mannequins. You guys can see they took their time to show this in the trailer where the pet kind of, like, pops up and then falls down. So, obviously, there's going to be some sort of Easter egg type things to there, which is, uh, is kind of cool. Now, uh, next up, this little clip right here is actually really, really funny. I love all these, like, little mini games that Treyarch puts in, like the, uh, the basketball you could shoot back in Black Ops 2. I'm hoping you can legitimately play shuffleboard in this game. Like, if you go into a private match, just you and one other friend, and just shoot, like, the little pucks and play shuffleboard. How awesome would that be? I, uh, I thought that was pretty cool. Now, uh, next up, this clip right here shows the kind of like the, the different way this map is going to be played. So previously when we were on Nuketown, it was essentially a single level map except for the two buildings. You went up into the upstairs windows of the two buildings, you shot down, that was the only place you would shoot down on the map. But now you guys can see with the wall running that can be done, you're going to be flying all around the map, hitting all kinds of different walls. I'm sure you can even free run on the face of the buildings and stuff like that. Like it's, just, it's going to be really, really crazy and it's going to be even more insane than Nuketown was before. Now, next up, this is a big, big, big change that I noticed, and I haven't seen many people talking about this. So you guys know the couch that people would snipe from behind to snipe kind of like down into the spawn. It is like a really popular sniping spot and stuff like that. Well, uh, it looks like that's been blocked off. So you guys can see from this image right here, if you're on the edge of the, the you know, kind of like bus or whatever you want to call it, if you look, you're not going to be able to shoot down into the spawn. It's kind of blocked up by these two walls. So uh, I thought that was kind of interesting. Rip the, the sniping feeds on this map. Now, uh, finally, the last thing I'm going to point out to you guys is this right here. It's not really much. It's just during the Black Ops Week Friday stream, if you guys didn't catch it. 
the uh, the devs did say that they thought that Tempest was going to be one of the best uh, specialists you could use on this map because of that lightning ability that kind of spreads to different characters. So uh, it's just kind of like a, a little tip for you guys when you play on Nuketown, when the game comes out, try out Tempest because it's a very, very small convoluted map and you're probably going to be able to get a bunch of multi-kills. So yeah, there you guys have it. That, my friends, is the new Nuketown in Black Ops 3. I am so incredibly excited about this map. I wasn't sure what to expect and what changes they're going to make. It looks like a lot of it's cosmetic. There are a few changes in terms of the, the free running abilities and the, you know, blocking off that one line of sight and stuff like that. But for the most part, it's still the same old Nuketown that we know and love. So hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you guys later. Check out these two videos if you haven't seen yet. I've got a bunch of other videos coming out today. So make sure you guys get your back. Peace out.